Hello YouTube, it's me the Invertebrarian and of course the wee man and today we're going to be taking a look at scorpions. <laughs> Scorpions. Huh. Yeah. Cue the intro. <laughs> Claws. Stinkers. And legs. So here we look at just what exactly makes up the awesomeness that is the mean tank. The scorpion. Okay, so the scorpion is a member of the arachnid family, much like the amalpighi, spiders, solifuge, mites, ticks, many, many more. What you saw in that first shot was a tailless whip scorpion, and here we see some tarantulas. As you know, most of the ones I keep are forest species. This is one of my setups. Uh, I mainly keep the species that fall under the umbrella of the heterometrius family. Uh, fantastic scorpions, fantastic, I do love them and try to create as natural an environment as possible. Here we can see down to the burrow of one of them or a kind of den like area. And here's some of the, the scorpions in my collection. As you can see, a range of colours. So here we see the stinger in action as it takes down its prey, filling it full of venom, ready for digestion. The venom basically just makes it easier to eat because it's not going to be fighting, especially in bigger prey items, such as perhaps other scorpions or spiders. Okay, so we know that they're part of the arachnid family. There are around 2,000 species of scorpions identified worldwide. Around that, or around that, sorry, about 30 or 40 are known to have a strong enough venom to kill a person. Obviously reactions will vary person to person. Each individual may react differently from the next. But there are estimated around 30 to 40 that could kill the average human being. It's actually believed on saying that. That the venom could contain molecules which could help in the battle against cancer. Scorpions, as you saw earlier, come in a variety of sizes and colours. You get dwarf, pygmy and pseudoscorpions. The pseudoscorpion doesn't actually have a stinger tail and they're so microscopic, so small, almost microscopic, very difficult to see with the naked eye, if at all. I don't know, I've never seen one. They are thought to be the oldest of the arachnid family. They evolved from marine organisms dating back approximately 445 million years. Although some of the ancestors of the evolutionary chain are still missing. As I mentioned, I mostly keep forest scorpion species, which you can see in many of my other videos how I do my setups, how I set them up. The one you're seeing here is Euscorpius. Uh, the Italicus, sorry, Euscorpius Italicus, a very small species of scorpion. They can survive in a huge range of different types of habitat, ranging from very lush tropical environments, such as the type I've tried to create here, to desert. And sadly, I don't really own any desert species, but they are on the list of to-dos or to-gets. And some species are even known to live in colder areas. Uh, there are species known close living to the Himalayas. Takes on average around one to six years for them to reach maturity and can live as long as 10 to 15 years. Um, as you've seen from my breeding videos and my birth of baby videos, uh, once they're born, uh, the babies will sit on the mother's back until they're capable of coming off and being independent, in which case they can be moved or in the wild they would go off and become start fending for themselves. There are some species uh, that are known as pathogenesis, 
which is a form of asexual reproduction, meaning that the embryos can develop without fertilisation. In the UK, we only really have one species, which is uh, Euscorpius uh, flavicodus. Euscorpius flavicodus. That might or might not be the correct pronunciation. But anyway, that's the, the UK's only native species. I do hope there's some information in there that is interesting, that you can learn from, and perhaps will change your opinion of these absolutely amazing, amazing creatures. I originally, when I got into exotic pet keeping, used to think of these as almost ugly. I think I even perhaps described them once as ugly creatures and much favoured tarantulas. And over time, my interests have certainly changed. And now, and I, I now would openly say I probably find scorpions a little bit more interesting than tarantulas. Similarly to the tarantula, you don't see a lot of activity. Uh, they are a nocturnal creature. They are amazing to watch them hunt. They are amazing to watch them eat, as you're seeing in this video, with those kind of inner claw-like mouth parts tearing away at the cricket you're seeing here. I have never been stung. I have been nipped, as you've probably seen in my handling video, uh, that very same scorpion. In fact, this scorpion you're seeing here has got me twice. Do they make good pets? They're not the kind of pet you're going to pick up and start tickling them on their belly. Probably not going to start rubbing them on their back because you might take a sting. They are interesting. You could be really creative with the setups, as I try and do when I'm recreating these kind of forest environments. I think they are fantastic pets. They do tend to hide a lot, but when you see them, it's more than worth it, as you can see in this video. The coloration is stunning, this, this particular species is quite blue with a sort of hint of purple running down the body there, as you can see. I would highly recommend anyone, if you're thinking about it, do it. They're amazing pets. I made many mistakes to start off with and hopefully by doing these videos, you won't make the mistakes I made. They are kept in glass tanks, cocoa fiber, and just you can kind of design the tank as you see fit. Just make sure it's sterile, clean, and free of infestation on any products used. Here we have one final shot of the scorpion enjoying our dinner. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's educated you just a tiny little bit. Okay, so sorry about the stumbling blocks and the mispronunciations, but it was all done in one and there was no way I was going to do the entire voiceover all again. So it's, it's, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully you've learned something from it, albeit a bit duh, 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 at points in times. Um, but yeah, fascinating animals. So much more I could talk about, but I just wanted to kind of summarise uh, a, brief, a brief outline and maybe in future videos I can go further in depth in that and be a wee bit more specific about different traits, characteristics, species, etc, etc. But anyway, in the meantime, be good, be kind, take care of yourselves and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next time. Bye bye for now.